This film is part of an instructional series on fishing. With the help of some of America's greatest anglers, we will share with you several effective new fishing techniques, as well as methods proven by the test of time. guys welcome back to another video today we're doing something a little bit different uh, we do a lot of fishing and informational videos educational videos we try to anyways I don't know how educational our videos actually are they work for me huh is that they where you learned yeah. did you learn how to fish from well I tried but, oh, okay all right you know so anyways right. um as a lot of you guys know from Facebook posts Instagram posts I haven't really I, I may have mentioned it on YouTube um, we're selling our boat and we're getting a new 25 foot Seahawk which is awesome. But in the meantime, uh, my buddy, Captain Scott Zentz, Tug Life Charters, isn't it? Is it Tug Life? Tug Life Charters out of Ruskin, Florida, has been kind enough to let us borrow his Parker Gulf Coast 2300. So the Gulf Coast and the Big Bay is what we were running. They're, they're almost identical. They're, they're tunnel hulls, they're really shallow boats. The layout inside's a little different but we're not going to get off track and get on that right now the uh the reason we're here today is because i had a charter two days ago and i had the trolling motor batteries plugged in all night never had any problem with the trolling motors this is a Minn Kota riptide we walked up we hooked up the boat and i always walk by and i hit the test switch on the trolling motor before we get going just to make sure i don't have any issues nothing lit up so we were on the anchor all day i forgot how bad it was to anchor i didn't have caleb or jake with me so i had to actually work and it was terrible pulling the hook is terrible trolling motors are a game changer this is an older one of the one of the earlier series with the spot lock one of the earlier series Minn Kota's with the spot lock so basically today what we're doing is we're going to troubleshoot why this trolling motor is not working we're going to start with step one which is we're going to check power coming from the building or source of power to the boat and, uh, and that's why I, I got to give him a little bit of credit. That's why I drug Captain Caleb Wise, Jim Dandy, Seto Captain out of bed today because we don't always see eye to eye on a lot of things, guys. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a whole father-son thing here. Uh, well, there's you, a height difference too. That's probably. <laughs> that probably it has nothing to do that with probably being taller. even worse. It has nothing to do with being taller. So, um, like I said, I probably don't have to tell a lot of you out there that you know the the father-son dynamics. Jake just stands behind the camera and tries to be quiet and watches us go at it. But sometimes it gets it gets tense, right, dude? All the time. But we love each other. <laughs> there's always love there. Come here, quit backing up. All right, so I'm gonna give him a little bit of credit today because. Um, since we've been doing this, Caleb is actually, and I'm, I'm not, Caleb, Caleb's not a licensed mechanic, Caleb's not doing work for other people, but Caleb has actually turned into almost a pit crew for me. If there's an emergency, he's my guy. Um, I know he helps out a few of the other captains around here, but mechanically, this dude has done some things to boats that has really impressed me, man. I mean, I, I, I'm gonna tell you in front of everybody, I'm proud of you. Uh, you shock me sometimes. I shock myself. And then other times, I shock God, others. And then other times, he does things that really shock also you. shock me. If you know what I mean. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, it's not always, it's not always shocked in a good way. But uh, so, anyways, where are we gonna start, Caleb? What do you suggest? Well, you want to start at the building and check power. Let's make sure you get it plugged in first. Before okay, we do I've done anything. that before. So, all right, step one, guys. Let's go. All right, so we are here inside the building at the source of our power. We're going to check the outlet first. I'm going to feel really dumb if there was a breaker flipped or something. Actually, Caleb's going to check the outlet. All right. We're looking for what, Caleb? 120 volts out of it? <clears throat> Let's see what we got. 117. 17, low battery. Low battery. That's, that's the tester. So, Okay, so we know now that we've got 120 volts to the outlet. So that's step one. Plug that back in. We're gonna go check the other end of the cord to make sure there's not an issue in the cord somewhere. Christian, guest appearance. Captain Christian Oh, okay. <laughs> it's windy, guys. Everybody's just hanging out up here working on their boats. This is this is what charter captains do in their days off is fix all the crap that gets broke while we're out there. 
All right, step two, very exciting. We were at the other end of the cord. Caleb's gonna check this in. All right, so 17. Again, 120 volts, so we know the cord's good. So we don't have an issue with the cord. We don't have an issue with the outlet. So we know now we're narrowing it down. We're working from the, the what do you call it? The power source. We're working from the power source all the way through the boat up to the trolling motor. So we know the cord's good. Let's plug it back in and keep working our way up. <laughs> all right, guys. So the next step is we know the cord's good. We know we got power coming from the source. Um, now we're gonna plug the battery charger in and Caleb is actually down in what we call the hole on the boat. Not the hull, the hole. This boat doesn't have a ton of storage, so everything winds up in the hole. But this is where the battery charger is. So we've got it plugged in. We want to check to make sure all the indicator lights are on, showing that it's charging. If it's charging, then we know it's good. And we'll check the batteries and we'll move on. Spin it around, Caleb, show them. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure I'm in frame here. Let's see. Okay. All right, we got lights. There and there. It's showing, so it's showing that all the batteries are charging. Yep, yep. Charging there, charging there. Okay, we're good here. So we know we're good here. All right, guys. So we're working our way to the front of the boat. Um, we tested the battery charger. We're good there. We checked the batteries. We didn't show you guys that because we had to kind of climb up and under, back in the back. So there really wasn't room for a camera. But the batteries are good. So now the next logical step is to check. The plug a lot of times too i can tell you a lot of times this is going to be the source of your problem if you're lucky you don't want it to be the trolling motor for sure so at this point if we're lucky the plug on either one on one end or the other is going to be our problem right it's cheapest cheapest fix we don't want it to be the trolling motor so caleb's going to test the plug it's a this is actually a 24 volt Minn Kota, so we're looking for 12 volts coming off each set and, uh, and that'll give us our 24 volts so check it out dude okay. see what we got What you got? So you're good there. 13 volts there. Flip them. That's, that's our first battery. And then we got 13 volts there. So we All right. got, we're good here. So we got 24 volts here. So that means guys, we've narrowed this down to this and this. So cross our fingers, hopefully it's this. So the way, the, how are we gonna test this? We're gonna, we're gonna plug this in. We're gonna take the back off. We're gonna slide the back off like this and then we're gonna check here that way we can check the other half of the plug but already once we open it up we're seeing I mean it is grease well it looks like they got some dielectric grease on here but uh, you can already see the green where you've got some corrosion so hopefully this is it and it doesn't go any further okay so what we've done now is we pulled the the housing off the back I showed you guys this a minute ago but we, we already had the housing off and we can see some corrosion in here but we've plugged the plug back in because we want to test both ends of this plug. And I'm going to guess that this side right here with the corrosion that we saw is probably going to test bad. So go ahead, Caleb, and test it for us and let's see. So here we go. You got anything? So it's, it's bouncing. It's okay. So what that's showing me guys is it's bouncing every once in a while we're showing 24 volts it's flashing 24 volts but then pretty much we have nothing so we've got some corrosion definitely we're not getting a steady 24 volts a constant 24 volts to this trolling motor so we got some wiggle and everything else so what we're going to do now because this is the first thing we've tested that is showing any kind of any kind of issue we're going to undo this i'm going to turn it the right way first to unscrew it Pull that, and we're gonna take this apart, clean this up, and see if we can salvage this plug. Because like I said, you can see the corrosion in here, and we're not getting good contact somewhere. So hopefully that's our problem. After we do this, get it plugged back in, we'll check it again, check our trolling motor, and I won't have to, uh, I won't have to buy Scott's Zinz trolling motor. <laughs> I've got my fingers crossed, dude. Because if you borrow somebody's boat, if it's going to break, it's going to break when you borrow it, right? That's very every, true. Every freaking That's time, man. That's very true. So, all right, let's get, uh, let's get it apart, bud. Good. Okay, guys. So, we got lucky. It was actually this end of the plug. It wasn't really anything other than corrosion. So, you can see now, you come up here, Jake. We got full battery I don't know if you can see that oh, let's try to get in the shade yep. full power to the trolling motor 
Um, checked everything all the way up, everything's working, which wasn't a bad thing that we actually checked everything all the way up because now we know everything from here back is working. And this was this was probably best case scenario. This is probably the cheapest fix. Actually, it didn't cost us anything other than time. <laughs> whatever Caleb charges me, so I might have to cook dinner or something tonight, feeding. But uh, that's it, guys. So the only thing I don't like about this setup, I have a Minn Kota. I had a Minn Kota on my my old boat. I'm gonna have a Minn Kota on the next one. I love the Minn Kota trolling motor. I hate these plugs. These are the little push-in twist lock plugs. Battery tender actually makes a plug that has a screw on the back of it that when it connects, there's no doubt it's connected. And they're, they're sealed very well. Uh, they tend to last a lot longer than this type of plug. So maybe for Christmas, we'll put one on Scott's boat or something. But um, anyways, that's it. That's how we fixed our trolling motor today. And uh, Caleb, I appreciate your help. Always, brother. No problem. Oh. Oh, one of those? <laughs> no, I was looking. I was looking down at this. This is how I get treated by my kids, guys. I, I mean, was, I do everything I can. This knucklehead, that knucklehead. I was but, looking uh, at this multimeter. I was not uh, paying attention for a second. Wasn't paying attention. Imagine that. But uh, all right, guys. As always, I hope this video helps some of you guys out there. I hope it was informative. So that's it. If you want to book a trip, give me a call. My information's at the end of the video. Bad Fish Charters. If you'd like to book a trip with Captain Caleb Wise. Uh, we'll put his information in there, Jim Dandy Charters, and I always got to shout out my boy Captain Christian Lugo, he helped us on this today, he's over there digging around his boat, but that's uh, Family Ties Charters, we'll put his information on there too, and um, yeah, so that's it, trolling motor's working, we're good to go, and this is what we do on our days off, so give us a call and get you out there, buddy, I appreciate it, Christian, appreciate you, no alright guys, so, Till next time, God bless every single one of you out there and we'll see you guys on the water.